Ladies and gentlemen, the horses are parading postward for this evening's 10th race, feature race of the night. The Scarlet O'Hara final, 1995, three old Billy Pacers racing one mile. A purse of $56,000. A field of nine going postward. Number one is Village Lachana, the daughter of Jake Lobel, by Charles Armstrong at the Compass Stable of Ontario, Canada. With a two-year record of 157 and two earnings of $102,000. By virtue of the third fastest time, third finished fastest time last week. Drawing the rail this evening, it's the one, Village Latana and John Compass. Number two, Euphemia Bluegrass. He was a Kentucky bred daughter of Fortune Ritchie. Oh, by Lou Lover, Steve Defenders in Kentucky. Three old record of 154 and three that last week in her elimination, earnings of $40,000. From post two tonight, Greg Haston drives Euphemia Bluegrass. Number three is Electrical Express. A daughter of the world champion Sire Storm Damage. Over the McIntosh stables. Yesbury, Grundy, and Waples. With a mark of 155 at Mohawk. $52,000 in earnings. From post three, it's Electrical Express with the Meadowlands driver, Ronnie Waples. Four is Keystone Mia. Daughter of Warren Breeze, owned by Judith Davis of Blairsville, Pennsylvania. Three old record of 154. 155 and four, rather, here. Eliminations of the Scarlet. Earnings of $80,000. From post four, Dick Stillings drives Keystone Mia. Five is Teen Talk. Here's a daughter of Jake Lobel, owned by Mike Spooner and the CMT Farms of Ontario. Two year old record of 154. $194,000. The five, Teen Talk and Roger Mayotte. Six is Janet's Jewel. Pennsylvania daughter of Big Towner. Home of the RJS stable of New York, New York. Earnings of $52,000. A mark of 154 at the Meadowlands. Dave Pallone aboard Janet's Jewel. Number seven is Athena Blue Chip. He was a daughter of Goalie Jeff, home of the Pinsky Stables, Brian Pinsky, Don Morandi of Minnesota and Illinois. Three old market, 153 and one. In her elimination last week, winning by three and a half lengths. Earnings of over $90,000 from post seven tonight. Brian Pinsky drives, Athena Blue Chip. Number eight is light on her feet. He was a daughter of Falcon Sealster, owned by Stuart Coleman and Goldsmith of Kentucky and Florida. With a mark of 57 and 1 at Lexington, earnings of $20,000 from post 8. Light on her feet with driver Dave Miller. Completing the field for the 1995 Scarlet O'Hara final from post 9. She's a great lady. Canadian bred daughter of Dexter Nukes. Owned by LNL Divisor Partnership of Holland, Michigan. A mark of 153 here in her elimination, winning by 9 lengths. The national season's record time, $66,000 in earnings. She comes from the far outside tonight. Jack Parker Jr. aboard. She's a great lady. That's the field for the 95. Scarlet O'Hara final. Win play show, perfected trifecta wagering. It's three-year-old fillies in the 1995 Scarlet O'Hara final are moving in behind the gate. They swing to the back stretch for the start. And there they go. And they're off. From the inside, Euphemia Bluegrass sprinting for the lead. Electrical Express alongside. But from the outside, Janet's Jewel as fastest of all as they spin into the first turn. From the outside, pacing fourth, comes Teen Talk. Off the rail five, Village Latana. To the inside, sixth, Keystone Mia. Two lengths, seven along the rail. It's Athena Blue Chip. To the inside eight, light on her feet. She's a great lady, the early trader, but on the move. At the first quarter mile marker, 27 flat. And on the outside, Electrical Express takes the lead. Euphemia Bluegrass to the inside is second. Along the rail three to Janet's Jewel. To the outside at fourth. Here comes Keystone Mia, flushed by Village Latana five. 
Into the cover flow, six comes Keystone B. Now as they race into the clubhouse, cheered on the front. It's Electrical Express by a length and a half. Euphema Bluegrass, Garden Spot Trip is second. Team Talk to the outside. At the half and 56 and two fifth. Off the turn, they straighten out down the backside. Wayfolds has Electrical Express on the front. Euphemia Bluegrass getting the trip on the inside. Here comes Team Talk on the outside at third, followed by Village Latana fourth. Janice Jewell is locked into five at the outside and pacing a sixth. It's Keystone Mia, back seventh, light on her feet. To the outside, here comes the big guns up in the blue chip, and she's a great lady. At the three quarter mile marker, 124 and two. On the front, Electrical Express looking to steal this one over the outside. It's Team Talk. These two away by three lengths as they turn for home. Less than an eighth of a mile ago, and down the stretch they come. Waples working on Electrical Express. Outside a second, it's Team Talk. Here comes Athena Blue Chip. Far outside, she's a great lady. Phillies coming from everywhere. Outside, she's a great lady. She'll get up to take it in 154. The winner's circle, the unofficial winner of the 1995 Scotland Hero Final with an outstanding finish. Number nine, she's a great lady. The Canadian bred daughter of Dexter Nukes from Miss Donna Mayo by Silent Majority. Owned by LNL Devisser, partnership of Holland, Michigan, Jill Holloway Trains. Jack Parker Jr. coming in this evening to drive. She's a great lady, her fifth season's victory in 10 starts. She is the fastest thrilled filly in the nation as of this time with that national season's record win last week. She paces the night's mile at 154 flats. An outstanding mile tonight. She's a great lady from last to first. 9-7 perfecta pay $16.40. The trifecta 973, $67.80. Again, the winning trainer Joe Holloway receives a trip now to Las Vegas courtesy of U.S. Air and Augie Blevins Tour and Travel.